What's going on everybody? I'm coming at you with a different video and today we are here at Vasquez Rocks, okay? I haven't been here in many, many years, but I've been here a couple times, a couple field trips. You were here like not too long ago, right, Aaron? Uh, yeah, my aunt was in town, so we went out here. A lot of fun. Um, for those who don't know, Vasquez Rocks is about 25 miles from LA, between Santa Clarita and Palmdale. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason this place is so popular is they filmed a lot of movies here. Mm -hmm. um, specifically, Star Trek. They filmed a lot of Star Trek episodes and movies at this location. Uh, the one with the Gorn, where he's fighting the lizard. Mm -hmm. That's the probably the most famous one. They filmed the Flintstones here, uh, Hot Shots, Blazing Saddles, tons of TV shows, tons yeah. of westerns. And it's just because of the the way that the rocks are. They're really uh, pisker, um, just, just they look great. You know, they look really cool, like slanted like that, so. Yeah, you've been here before, Doctor, yeah, haven't you? Yeah, I've been you? here a few times, a lot when I was a kid. Very nice. Lots of fun. Yeah, lots of fun. I'm still pursuing the last gold booty that is out there. The last gold booty, eh? Yes. Is, is, there, a of gold is there a legend booty. out there? <laughs> yeah, there's, and them there are hills. Lots of gold. Well, I think so. we're going to have to go find some gold booty today. That's yeah. for sure. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I've, I've been here uh, at the, yeah, a couple times for like a field trip. Like I remember like for school, we would come out here. I think I, I forget what grade I was. I must have been like elementary school. But um, when I was uh, in church at Awana, uh, it was like, which is like a... It's like, you know, like a Bible program for kids when I was, you know. I know like, Camp Anawana. You know Camp Anawana? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we would come out here and uh, I remember, like, I'm trying to remember where. I don't know where, but I remember we would have, like, a lunch break. But we're going to do a little hike. We're going to go around, check it out, see how beautiful it is. And uh, let's go and have some fun. All right. So looks like there's a, a trail over here uh, to go at the rocks over there at the top. There's also a trail that goes this way which kind of goes around okay the the vicinity of this place so maybe we should go this way first and then we'll go up the rocks uh sounds good yeah I, i'm really excited about it. it's just it's just beautiful out here it kind of reminds me of arizona and the rocks over there but look how slanted those rocks are you know they're at an angle yeah yeah they come up yeah we're gonna have to get some footage so you can see it even from a different perspective but man that's and there's a lot of holes in the the rocks too yeah you know it's like over there yeah, oh yeah. I'm, I'm kind of scared what kind of animals in there. <laughs> there there or, might be some. Or gold. Or gold. Or gold, yeah. There's definitely gold in them there holes. <laughs> <laughs> we can yeah. find it, damn it. Yeah, the, you can definitely find some gold in uh, places like that, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, Dante, uh, looks like you just found some interesting information. Why do they call this spot Vasquez Rocks? Well, because a, a, a bandito. <laughs> named Tiburcio Velasquez was a cattle wrangler and a, just a dirty little thief. He stole all sorts of stuff, you know, probably out of necessity. Uh, you can't harm him too much, right? I don't know that he had much in the way of, uh, you know, stealing from the banks or anything, but he definitely had a long history of, of theft and was finally tracked down uh, here, not here, but actually down in Los Angeles area mm. before it was all paved and such wow. and uh had a very short trial and they found him guilty and hung his ass but not before they you know he got gained a lot of notoriety and uh this place was named after him was this his hideout this was his hideout wow. this, um, for and he had other hideouts too but this was the one that he came most uh, known for that's insane man so i guess like i mean wow man i guess you could do bad things and have places be named after you yeah yes. i guess that's the, moral, it, guys. that's the moral of the story <laughs> well i mean if you look around there are you know there's tons of places to hide oh yeah totally i mean this place yeah totally. that... also i want to give a shout out to my friend eric j vasquez because <laughs> his name obviously his last name is vasquez so i just want to give a shout out so, I, I always thought it was Vasqueezy, but well, <laughs> oh god, <laughs> vasquez 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 okay. it might be velasquez no, it's Vasquez. It's Vasquez. Vasquez. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> Bandito Vasquez. We're on the trail. We're on the trail. But it just feels so peaceful out here, man. Yeah. It's like, it's just very serene. I'm very much looking forward to taking off my shoes so I can do some grounding out here. And this would be a good spot to do some grounding. For those of you guys that don't know, grounding is just taking off your shoes and just being barefoot and uh, like in nature either at the beach or yeah. in the forest yeah even in grass on your lawn will, yeah will they do the trick yeah it really it'll, it'll just do it 15 minutes a day it makes a big difference in your mood so yeah 
Let's go up there, guys. Let's do it. All right, so we're gonna go up this trail over here. This will take us to the top of the rock over here. So, uh, yeah, I think we'll be uh, all right. You ready, Dante? It's gonna be great, yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. You guys look like you're in Star Trek right now. Yeah. I'm ready to battle. Got a couple lightsabers and yeah. stuff. I, it's not I, Star Trek. But... That's Star Wars, Dante. <laughs> know, but... <laughs> can't do the thing with my hands, so. <laughs> I think it's like this. Yeah, yeah, I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, all right. right. Yeah, let's go. I almost did it. Yeah. We're definitely getting our workout in today, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so close, so close to the top. <sighs> All right, guys, I did it. I'm at the top. down but I literally came up here to say I'm the king of the world Woo so here's the, the view from the top and I definitely got my workout in and here's the view Okay, so my friend Aaron, I think, is going to opt out from getting to the top, but I think Dante is going to get up here. Are you coming up here, Dante? He's trying. You got this, man. You got this. You got this. You got this. So here's a 360 view of the top this way here. Slow and steady wins the race. One small step at a time. One small step at a time. I can hear the Rocky music playing, Dante. Dun 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 you got this, bro. You got this. I got this. You're you're almost you're you're pretty you're almost there, bro. You're almost here. Yeah, I, I can you're literally within grasp, bro. Yeah, take all the incline you need, man. That that incline is a is a bitch, man. It, it, it's a it is a job to get up here. Okay, so um pretty much I'm here at the top. Um unfortunately Dante um couldn't make it to the top. Um, Aaron wanted to, but he couldn't. But I'm here at the top, and it's actually, it's very nice. It's very, very peaceful. Uh, we wanted to come here before noon, before it gets, like, super warm. But, uh, but yeah, there it is. I'm sitting down here. <laughs> I'm not afraid of heights. Okay, so... The hard part is what goes up must come down, okay? So as you can see, I got uh, that much to go. So uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think I'll be fine. But uh, yeah, it's tied up on the bottom, now we're here. Back to the bottom, back to the bottom, back to the bottom. Let's go. All right, so you made it, David. I made it, man. I'm actually real. I'm really proud of you because I, I, I didn't make it, and <laughs> Very he got most of the way up. But yeah, you did. You did a great job, man. He did a good job. Yeah. It's pretty but I'm, steep there, that last little bit. It was pretty steep, yeah. Sandy, yeah. gravelly. Yeah, yeah there, there's there's definitely a way up there. You know, you got to use, like, uh, you got to lean forward, use your, your hands and everything like that. But, uh, 
But yeah, actually, guys, I got a little uh, surprise for you in the car. Oh, nice. Oh, so uh, we're going to go uh, get a little, uh, little snack. Okay. A, a familiar snack. Let's just say that. So I'm excited. All I'm right. excited, too. Let's go. Let's go. All right, guys. So uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm a little hungry right now. So uh, I did get some snacks uh, along the way, and this is the little surprise. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, it's a familiar surprise, and I'll even add to say it's a nostalgic surprise, okay? Okay. So, let me know if you or anybody has never had these, okay? So, there's a, there's a final reveal, but I got us some Lunchables, okay? Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. This, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lunchables, I got three different kinds, okay? So, we have a little bit of variety. You know me, I'm a Gemini Rising. Got to have a little bit of everything to be stimulated properly. So, I got nachos and cheese dip and salsa okay and what's beautiful about each of these is they got a capri sun oh. okay so uh i am very thirsty right now yeah so it came in clutch right yeah okay so we got the the nachos okay this is my personal favorite i think this uh one came out in the 90s this uh might have come out a little bit after you guys were in elementary school but this one is uh lunchables pizza with pepperoni okay okay and uh, again, it's it's my personal favorite. And uh, to complete the trilogy, to complete the trinity of Lunchables, okay? I got uh, classic ham and cheddar. Yeah, that's the one I'm, I, I made when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah, it's got Capri. Oh, like, check this one. This one's got gummy worms, so. That one. <laughs> so. <laughs> all right. And then, and then to top it all off, to top it all off, I got us some uh, dried mango as a little dessert. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, Philippines. yeah, from the Philippines. And if you know me, you know I love my chili con mango, which is the dried mango with like you know tahini or a little bit of chili on it. So, wasn't able to get it this time around, but this this will do. Okay, I'm looking forward to this. Bon appetit, guys. Let's do this. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one has gummy worms, as he mentioned. Yeah. And then, Pizza. Uh, very nice. Got a crunch bar. You got a crunch bar. Yes. I feel like a kid again. Right? It's Although I do have memories of when I ha first had the ham and cheese and I overdid it and I <laughs> never ever want to touch that again. But I will definitely indulge in the pizza. Absolutely, man. You never had that before, huh? The, the no, pizza. I haven't had any in 30 years. Okay. But because I pigged out with the ham and cheese to the point where I'm like, ah, you know? But you've never had the pizza from No, Lunchables. I never had pizza oh, or any, any. So I this can't is wait. a. I can't this wait. This is kind of a trip to the past. So excellent, really. excellent. Wonderful. Thank you, David. Yeah, you're nice very, yeah, yeah, you're very, yeah, of course. I got my nachos and I got a Kit Kat here. And you guys are welcome to have some of these nachos as well because uh, I don't think you, you've never had the nachos before, right? Okay, so how's no, that? No, but that Kit Kat's probably melted, dude. Yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> um, this is actually really good. Right? It brings back memories. Does it? I, I mean, I, that's, what, that's what I love about it. I, thought, I knew this would be like a good gesture. It's like, you know what? It's like we're out here, out and about. We're technically doing a field trip on our own. We, we might as well, you know, make it a field trip the right way. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So. All right, Dante. So it looks like so, you got your, your pizza made. You know, it was cold in the box as, as it is always yeah. sold that way, I believe, right? So yeah. I thought I'll put it in the back of the window and expedite the warming of this because I prefer to have warm pizza and it's made my cheese into a globby mess. But I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I think here in a second. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. It, it tastes like kids' food, man. It is. Like, it, like, it literally, like, 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 it tastes like it was made for a kid, you know? I haven't Land. been to Vasquez Rocks since I was a kid, so it's appropriate. Yeah, very appropriate. Land, but, but nostalgic, right? Yep. It does the trick. Actually, and after a nice little hike around here, this... I can't wait for the reviews, guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to see what they have to say about it. Definitely. Here, I'm going to try a nacho. Pretty good, huh? Try that salsa, dude. The cheese is a little spicy, huh? Yeah, I know. I know. That's why I love it. The cheese is spicy, but wait till you try that salsa, dude. That salsa is actually pretty good, actually, from what I remember. Hmm. Yeah. It's a nice little snack. It's a little, nice little kid snack. I mean, dude, like, yeah, it's it's pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna try this. I I have not had this in such a long time. I might have had it like five six years ago just to try it for you know like kicks and giggles and all that type of stuff but um i just remember when this came out this was such a big deal and i was like literally begging like my mom and dad oh please 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 i want to get these lunchables like the pizza and uh like especially when you went to a field trip like 
for me, like this was like an event. I was like, oh, I'm gonna go to the field trip and I'm gonna get myself a lunchable. I feel like I'm on a field trip right now, David. Yeah, it, it, it just it just brings back memories. Like, and then 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 they would put like you know the, like your lunch bags like in the in the bus. Yeah. And then they would pull it out, and then of course you know you'd, you'd have your lunchable in a brown paper bag with your name on it, and uh, it was good stuff. So, so what do you got here? I got a yeah pepperoni pizza, just like Mr. Dante over there. Mine's not as melted, thankfully. <laughs> That's good, man. It brings back a lot of good memories, man. Yeah. yeah. I'm very happy about that. Yeah, screw going to uh, expensive Italian restaurants. Yeah, I know, right? Let's get some Lunchables. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, guys. So we're at the Vasquez Rocks Visitor Center. Okay. Yeah. I think it's interpretive. <laughs> interpretive center. Oh, inter interpretive. Interpretive. That's <laughs> so we're going to go inside, check it out. Maybe... Uh... It might know? be like a gift store or something. It might there. be a gift store. And also, too, something that we should also add is uh, today is a, a special day. It's called a day at Vasquez Rocks. It's an annual thing that they do. And we just so happen to be here. Coincidental. Coincidental. Really so uh, we're going to walk around, see what different vendors are here. And uh, let's uh, take a look around over here, all right? <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh my goodness. So I was mentioning before, like they filmed Star Trek and other movies. Here, here I guess here's some uh, movies that they've, they've done here. Looney Tunes, Wind Talkers, Planet of the Apes, Flintstones, Star Trek, of course, Blazing Saddles, uh, a bunch of Western movies. The Lone Ranger. Yeah. That's, that's huge. But this place is pretty cool, man. Yeah, it's a nice little like museum. Yeah, right there. Oh Jeez. man, that's like a vulture. Yeah. Oh, wow. Alright, so here's the real star of the show. This is a rattlesnake. That guy's pretty big. Yeah. Pretty, pretty big. It's the Southern Pacific rattlesnake. So, what was that, man? What was this song? Oh, this over fascinating here? fossil stuff from the local area in Utah, apparently. Lots of stuff in Utah. It's like a, like a oh, microscope. Oh, oh. So that whole area was ocean. You have some neat old fossils there. Oh, wow. Here's some local critters. He just got what he said in the last week. Yeah. <laughs> he got those recently. Or in the last five years, I guess, or something. Yeah. I don't know what's right. Some cool stuff. Wow. Very nice. So it looks like this is the, the gift shop part of the store. Oh, oh that's nice. kind of neat. That's wow. very cool. Yeah, it's like a little miniature thing of it. Yeah. Oh, here's the Star Trek. Oh, wow. This was the alien that Gorn, like, he was fighting in that scene. Oh, wow. Like a lizard type guy. And that Gorn doesn't play well with others. Yeah. There's tarantula, and there's scorpion. They even got a Funko Pops of Star Trek. They got books. Yeah, so looks like they got some skeletons of all these different animals here. Looks like they got like a coyote, gray fox. Man. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's of a bobcat. Wow. All right, guys. So here's the start of the festival. Okay. Looks like they got different, uh, different tents, different vendors. So we're gonna see what each of them is and uh, see if anything sticks out to us. All right, let's go. One morning for pleasure, spied a cow puncher, he was riding alone. His hat was thrown back, spurs they were jingling. As he approached, he was singing this song. Whoopie tie, I yo, get along, little doggies. Yo, I'm his fortune, none of my own. Whoopie tie, I yo, get along, little doggies. You know. 
Wyoming will be your new home. Some interesting stuff. Yeah. Got some blueberries. <laughs> Thanks, Dante. Oh, look at you, man. Partying like it's uh, 2020. <laughs> a great place to take your girl. I'm, I'm sad that I don't have her with me. There's lots of fun, creative yeah. stuff. That I got like, yeah, if I, if I had kids, I would definitely take definitely them here. It's definitely a family, uh, family thing. Annual thing. Yeah. We do once a year. Day at the Rocks. <laughs> All right, guys, that's a wrap. Had a really good time. It was a lot of fun here. Excellent. Yeah, that did. Uh, Vasquez Ross was very educational. And uh, something that they uh, mentioned uh, was like, like some of the words are like Native American, like they come from uh, Native American cultures, like the word uh, Kawanga and even Pacoima. I guess those are like Native American. Kawanga or something like that. Some, yeah, something like that. But it uh, was very uh, educational. And we definitely took a, a thing or two and uh, had a really good time. But yeah, that was a, it was a good time. We'll definitely have to do that again. Nice uh, track back to memory lane with uh, launchables. launchables and stuff. But that's it, guys. That's a wrap. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, be sure to like this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Feel free to share. And as always, we will see you on the next one.